In this video, I will teach you how to fix this car bug on WooCommerce that does not show the products. Hey guys, how are you? Here is Michaela from Simplifying Websites. Before starting the tutorial, I will ask you to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Well guys, I'm here at Fina Estampa, which is a store that I taught you to create here on the channel. And I'll leave the link on the card or in the description if you want to go there and learn how to do it, okay? Is this bug happening here? A lot of people are asking me how to fix it. Even if there are products in the cart, when you move the mouse, it turns white here, you see? Nothing appears. This is an WooCommerce update bug, and I will teach you how to use the WP Rollback plugin to return to the previous version of the WooCommerce plugin. And this is normal to happen, okay? I always tell you. In fact, not normal, but common. When you are updating a plugin, a theme, it is nice that you do a backup. Because if this happens, you update the plugin and see that it has given some bug, you can go back to the previous version of this backup you made, and then the site stays as it was before. But if you haven't done that, if the problem has already happened, I'll teach you how to fix it by returning to the plugin version, okay? Before that, we will first do a backup. Even if we are going to return to the version, it is good to do a backup in case the return of the version gives some other problem, right? So we will come here in WP All In on Migrator, we will come in Backup, click on Create a Backup, and it will create a backup here for us. I already created one, so I will click on Stop Here Mine. But you create it. If you want to watch the video on how to do backup, how to upload backup, there is a video here too that I will leave for you, okay? Okay. After you have done your backup, you come here in Plugins, Add New, then you will look for this name here, WP Rollback, here in the magnifying glass. This one you will install and activate. Okay, when you activate it, it takes you to the page of all the plugins, but you can come here in Plugins, Plugins Installed, too. And then you will notice that in each of them, the word Rollback will have appeared on the side. And that's how you'll be able to return to the version. So, as our problem is in WooCommerce, we will come here in the WooCommerce plugin. Look what's here, I'll click on Rollback. And it will show the previous versions here that are available for us to return. It even shows some beta versions here that are available too, right? But it also shows other normal versions. I'm going back to this version here, which was before I updated, which is this 7, 7.2. And I'm going to click here on Rollback. Then I'll click here on Rollback, and it recommends here in this message for you to do a backup. I already did the backup, as I said, do it in yours too, so as not to aggravate the problem. And let's click here. Now it's installing, going back to the previous version of the plugin. Now you can click here to activate the plugin. And that's it. Let's go back here and check down there. Now it's already in version 7. 7.2, it's even asking to update to the new one. Let's go here on the site, and let's click here so we can reload our page, because we put the plugin and let's test it. Now it's working fine, see? So whenever this happens, not only with WooCommerce, but any other WooCommerce, not only with WooCommerce, but any other plugin that you update, and you see that it gave a bug, you do this, you come, change the version. Sometimes, for example, it's giving a bug and you don't know which plugin it was. It will disable one by one of the plugins to see. It still didn't work? Go back to the version of one by one of the plugins to see. So that's how we do these tests. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like here on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on my social media. A hug. See you next time. Bye.